today we'll look at how to change the resolution of your video in DaVinci Resolve. I'm here on the edit page of the free version of DaVinci Resolve 20, but what I show you today should work in any recent release of DaVinci. And I have this clip on my timeline here. There are a couple ways I can change the resolution of it. First, I can go to the project settings down here. So that's this gear icon. I'll click this. And then on the master settings page, at the top, we can change the resolution of our project. So if I click this drop down, I have all these different options here. I can even enter a custom resolution if I like. If you want to quickly make your video vertical, you can select this checkbox here and it reverses the width and height. So the height is now higher. So I'll click save. And here you can see the resolution of my project has changed. Let me put it back to what it used to be. I'll go back here. I'll uncheck this. I'll click save. We can also change the resolution of just the timeline itself. When you add media to your timeline here, you get this timeline object over here. If you don't see this media pool here, you can toggle this button right there. So on my timeline, I can right click, I can choose timelines, and I can check timeline settings. Now by default, it's going to be locked because it's using my project settings, but I can uncheck it and I can change it here. Now, why would we want to do this instead of the project settings way? Well, let me cancel this. One thing we can do is add different timelines for different resolutions. So what I can do is I can right click on my timeline here. I can say duplicate timeline and I can rename it and I'll call it vertical. Now what I want to do is switch to that timeline. So right here it says timeline one. That's my original timeline. If I click this drop down, I'll select timeline vertical. And it still looks the same, but we can change the resolution for it. So I'll right click on timeline vertical. I'll choose timelines, timeline settings. I'll uncheck use project settings and I'll make it a vertical resolution. So I'll check this box here. I'll click okay. And now we have a vertical orientation and you can make specific changes for your vertical timeline here. So I'll click effects. Let's add some text. I'll drag this here. Let's make it say vertical. I'll make it pink. And this change is only going to be on my vertical timeline. So I can go back to my original timeline and you can see it's not there. So this is a cool way to add specific items to your video, depending on what resolution you want. Now, if you want to export your video, you can go to the delivery tab here. That's the rocket ship. I'll click on this. Now, right now I have it set to timeline one. I can export that. But if I want to export my vertical timeline, I'll click the drop down here. I'll select vertical. I'll give it a name, vertical movie, and I'll choose an output location. I'll click save. Let's give it a file type of MP4. I'll click add to render queue. I could also prepare my other timeline for rendering. So let's select this. I'll choose timeline one. Let's change the name of it. Regular movie. Let's add to render queue. And I can render them both at the same time. I'll just click and drag to select both. Then I'll press render all. And in my folder, I have the two videos with the different resolutions. Here's my widescreen, and here's my vertical. If you're new to DaVinci Resolve, check out my 25 minute crash course right here on YouTube. It has all the essential features you need to get started with this program. I'll leave a link in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.